Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Antoinette and today I'm doing my first makeup product review. This is insane. Guys, don't judge me. Like I said, I'm a virgin. Okay, for makeup tutorials. I'm a virgin for makeup tutorials. I'm going to be reviewing Urban Decay's newest palette, the Born to Run palette. I actually like this palette a lot, guys. Um, it kind of reminds me of when they dropped the Full Spectrum palette that came out a little while back. I love that palette. I still have that palette. I still use that palette. It had so many colors. It was pigmented. It went on great, not a lot of fallout. This is kind of around the similar lines. All these wonderful colors right here. I am going to show you guys how I did this lovely eye that I have on right now. I try to do kind of a beachy seduction. I can't talk. I tried to do a little bit of a beachy, sultry, seductive look, you know, having the water on the bottom and the sunset on the top. But I hope you guys like it. I love it. I'll be using this a lot more. And don't forget to subscribe, click like, leave comments, even crazy ones. Even if you hate it, I love constructive criticism. And like I said, I'm a virgin to the makeup tutorials. I'm a virgin to the makeup tutorials. So let me know what you guys think. And here we go. So I've already done my eyebrows and we're gonna start on the eyelids. Um, I recently just have discovered this lovely tool. It is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And instead of you using concealer, you can easily just put it on your eyelids and it makes everything more radiant. It makes all the colors pop. I love so it. You just apply that to the eyelids like you would your concealer. It comes in a cute little wand like this. And I just dab it on. Do, 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 do. I kind of dab a little like this and then I blend it in with my finger. I just kind of put it all over the place. You can either take like a flat little rounded concealer contour brush like this or blend it in with the finger like I do. All around, I get all underneath my brows because yes, we are about to go all the way up there, girl. Or boy. We are going to start in with Weekender. Right here. This one right here. Weekender. And we're going to start blending start out right at the top. And slowly blend it out. Up at the top. Pack it on in. Now, I will say that this palette does have a little bit of fallout, but it's not as bad as some that I've seen. All the way up to the brow ridge. I like to go in with the lighter color. Ladies, please start with your lighter colors. Instead of just straight up going in with a darker color, it's so harsh. No, I'm not digging in my nose on camera. And then the next color we're gonna go in is, go in with is Riff. It is this beautiful one right here. And I'm going to dab, 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 dab. The more you blend, the better the product comes out. The more you blend, the better the product comes out. Okay, girl, so you got to blend. I like the way these colors are looking so far on my eye. They could stand to be a little bit more pigmented. I don't know if you guys remember the full spectrum palette that Urban Decay had. I loved it, okay? And it was very decently pigmented. I didn't have to use a lot of product. Born to run. I'm seeing that it has a lot of shades that are good for every single skin tone. Cause you know, sometimes with these palettes, not everything looks good on everybody's skin tone. I actually swatched everything and they all look pretty decent on my skin tone. Now someone is lighter or darker watching this, I can't promise, 
But I know that all my caramel colored sisters like myself, or you know my Dominicanas, that are my color. Okay, my Cubanas. This looks really good on the skin. We are going to go right here on the eyelid with Baja. La Baja. We're gonna go right in with Baja. I like these. I like these oranges. I love these oranges and this coral. To sweep it across. Pack it all on like this and to the other side. I can already, ooh, I can already see that like, this is looking cute from far away. Cause you're gonna be poolside with this color right here. If you wear makeup to the pool, I always think that's weird. But I mean, if you're not gonna get in the water, if you're just there to look good, sis, this is the eyeshadow for you. Mm, we're packing, we're packing. We're packing and are born to run. Palette, palette. Trying not to have ADHD with you guys. I know, I get distracted so easy. Back to blending. I told you it's all about the blending. I am liking it. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. do a little bitty cold crease right on the eyelid. I already have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, but I'm gonna do this for my cut crease. Word of advice. Don't ever rush the crease, okay? Don't ever rush it because you want that thing to come out delicious, razor sharp. Mm, 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 Don't be a drag, just be a queen. My bad, y'all. Now that we got that little pot right there, y'all. Darling, you guys are gonna get a, like a lot of accents from me also, I'm sorry. There's like 59 people living inside of me and they all be wanting to come out. I'll be, I'll be trying to suppress it. And the John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith is going on. We're gonna go right to this color right here called Hell Ride. Hell Ride. That's kind of scary. I don't know if I like the name of that color but we gonna use it because it's pretty pack it on that inner lid pack it on that inner lid oh i think i like me some hail ride it's like a plum violet i don't know what this color is considered but i think i like gonna put a little hail ride on top of that baja Mm -hmm. What do we do now? We blend it out. You gotta blend to win. I like to go with my little small baby right here so I can get all in those cracks and crevices and really just get to blend in. Then right here on the inside corners of my eyes, I'm going to use Steel Shot. It is this beautiful one right here. It's like this corally, peachy kind of tone. So then I wanna do a little bit of something on the bottom line. I really just wanna make this look like a Hawaiian sunset, tropical, give you that beach vibe, give you that born to run. I'm on the run. Look. So, when with Radio, right here on the bottom. Radio is the name of that one. Damn, you putting a lot of colors on your eyes, but guess what? You can never be afraid to like use too much color. So then we're gonna go on the inner bottom corner with Big Sky right here. Big Sky is really calming. It's, I'm being drawn to it. It's a shimmer. So Radio and Big Sky are both shimmers. I'm gonna make it look like an ocean. Okay, I like these shimmers. I like them a lot. I'm gonna go over Hell Ride with Guilt Trip right here. Guilt Trip is like a plum shimmer because now that I'm realizing that these shimmers are like what I like, I'm gonna go over this. Yes, that adds some dimension to it. And right here on the inner corners of my eyes, we already have a still shot right there. But since I wanted to figure out how to do like a little sunset -y vibe, I have Stranded right here, which is just a gold shimmer. 
which is gonna make everything pop. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. The creep gotta get it, you. Pop it like it's hot. That's why I got my bandana on today, cause I'm feeling a little bit gangsterish. If you don't know, now you know. Ladies, it's pimps too. Go on, brush your shoulders off. Oh yes, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Straight to bacon in the face. And then since we're doing such a busy eye, we're gonna keep the lip super, super neutral because you don't wanna get too crazy. I'm already going crazy up here. Don't wanna get crazy right here. Business right here, party right here. So we're gonna be using Urban Decay's Comfort Matte in Back Talk. And y'all know I gotta overdo it on the top part because I ain't got no top lip. But y'all don't know that yet. But you will know that, that I don't have a top lip. But it's coming. I promise. Urban Decay has so many lipsticks. It's insane. And they're all good lipstick. For the last and final finishing touch, we're gonna use my favorite setting spray of all time. Drum roll, please. The All Nighter by Urban Decay, of course. Because why would you use any other setting spray? Why? Especially if I'm using this particular palette. We're gonna pop it open and this is a fresh bottle. So you already know I'm getting a euphoric high from it. Shake it up and spritz. And there you have it.